Hey guys, come here. Come here, I have a secret. The military has a secret space shuttle. Oh, everybody already knew that. Hey there, space cadets. Trace here for D News. Thanks for watching. So in case you didn't already know, the US Air Force does have a secret space shuttle. If you pay attention to space news though, you probably already heard about it. I mean, Vandenberg Air Force Base sent out a press release last week telling the world that the secret space shuttle was landing on Tuesday. It's called the X-37B and the secret part isn't that it exists, but what this shuttle is for. So here's what we do know. The reusable orbiter is a fourth the size of the old NASA space shuttle, which means it's only nine and a half feet tall and not quite 30 feet long. It's unmanned and fully automated. It's launched atop an Atlas V rocket and can stay in space for a long time using solar panels to power itself. And when one landed in 2010, it did so autonomously. NASA started the X-37 project in 1999. They transferred it to the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, better known as DARPA, in 2004, and her first flight was in 2006. There have been three orbital flights called OTVs and two tiny orbiters built. The third mission ended this week, more than doubling the time and space of the previous mission. The Air Force is open with all of this information, but when asked what the X-37B is doing when it's up there, that's when things get all Area 51-ish. They're, quote, testing technologies, operating experiments, and trying to create a, quote, fast turnaround vehicle, making sure that it can be refueled and relaunched within days rather than months like old shuttles. Of course, because it's the internet, theories as to what it's doing up there abound. According to amateur astronomers, the X-37B flies around 218 miles up, which is above the ISS and an ideal altitude for spying, says some sources. Popular mechanics did a short roundup of some of the theories and they say that the three major theories are these. Either it's a spy plane, because spying from space is an ideal thing, I guess. The media worries about it and those astronomers say that the orbit could fly over Afghanistan, Iran, and Pakistan. Hmm. Theory number two, Perhaps it's a space-based bomber. The payload bay is small, but not so much so that the X-37B couldn't hold a nuke. Theory number three, the government is telling the truth. <gasps> Yeah, it maybe it is telling the truth. The Air Force is known for trying cutting edge technology, so perhaps, I don't know. Regardless, the X-37B's third mission came to an end this week, bringing all this news to the surface again. Neither Boeing nor the Air Force are saying anything about the exact mission, but Boeing is already contracted to create the X-37C, which is 65% larger than the B, meaning that it could carry up to six astronauts, which might make this even more intriguing. But what do you think these secret shuttles are for? Are they gonna fly to the far side of the moon and look for aliens? That would be pretty cool. What does it do? Comment down below and let us know what you think it does. Make sure you subscribe to D News. And if you like the news of the day, check out my other show, Test Tube. We talk about what's going on in Iraq, Syria. We talk about Ebola. We talk about space once in a while. Not that often. Usually it's more politics and world history. But let us know what you think about this stuff. And please subscribe to that show too. Thanks for watching.